Mike Zeisberger and Rob Longley at the Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh, where we saw some overtime magic from a certain superstar in the league tonight. Mike, Pittsburgh Penguins win 3-2 to two, um, to even up the best of seven conference final at a game apiece. And uh, I'll let you talk about the winning goal, but Sidney Crosby was a force for much of the night, particularly in the third period where he could have had two, maybe three goals in that period alone. Saved his best for overtime and got the game winner. What did you think of his performance overall? And what do you think it means to this team going forward that he ended a little bit of a slump? He was still playing well, but it was an important goal at an important time. Well, you know what, Rob, is as, as much as Sid is a stand-up guy, I think you brought this out in a column earlier on the weekend, and it, rightly so. I mean, he had gone eight games without a goal. Of Jenny Malkin had gone seven games without a goal. And it was time for these guys to step up. I mean, Matt Cullen scored tonight. I mean, he's he's yep. one of the supporting cast members. Uh, Phil Kessel again. His line has probably been the best in the playoffs. It was time for Sid to step up. If they go down 2 nothing in this series going back to Tampa, you worry about it, but you know, the moment call for a hero, and the guy that knows how to play one was one. Yeah, and you know, certainly it was it was one of those games where Pittsburgh really should have won it from the outset. Jumped out to a two nothing lead. I thought Matt Murray was a little shaky in the Penguins net, but allowed the, the uh, Lightning to come back and tie it. Middle period, not a whole lot going on. Penn's dominant in the third. So if they lose that game, despite being dominant, go down two games to none, it would be a real tough task for them to go back to Tampa and resume this series Wednesday for Game 3. From Pittsburgh, I'm Rob Longley with Mike Zeisberger for Post Media.